1987 classic, Brain Frying Pan Plus from you. Drug PSA's TV commercial The TV Public Service announcement was a classic from the ridiculous 1980s war on drugs. And while I knew that this and other anti-drug PSAs at the time were created by ad agencies, I didn't realize that the American Association of Advertising Agencies actually created and funded the Partnership for a Drug-Free America, PDFA. This academic paper by author and history teacher Joseph Morrow explores how these ads, including the unforgettable, I learned it by watching you, spot, embodied the just say no, conservative attitude of the 1980s compared to the just say no liberal mindset of the 1970s. From a summary of the paper in Jaster Daily, say no more phrase spoken. I know it. War on drugs. The popularity of crack led to an increase in the number of Americans who became addicted to cocaine. In 1985, the number of people who said they used cocaine on a routine basis increased from 4.2 million to 5.8 million. By 1987, crack was reportedly available in all but four states. Fruits of the Spirit Galatians 5 18 But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. 19 Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, 20 Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, 21 Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. 22 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, 23 meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. 24 And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. 25 If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. 26 Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Slash 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 Genesis 43 1 And the famine was sore in the land. 2 And it came to pass, when they had eaten up the corn which they had brought out of Egypt, their father said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. 3 And Judah spake unto him, saying, The man did solemnly protest unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. For if thou wilt send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. 5 But if thou wilt not send him, we will not go down, for the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. 6 And Israel said, Wherefore dealt ye so ill with me, as to tell the man whether ye had yet a brother? 7 And they said, The man asked us straightly of our state, and of our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye another brother? And we told him according to the tenor of these words, Could we certainly know that he would say, Bring your brother down? 8 And Judah said unto Israel his father, Send the lad with me, and we will arise and go, that we may live, and not die, both we, and thou, and also our little ones. 9 I will be surety for him, of my hand shalt thou require him, if I bring him not unto thee, and set him before thee, then let me bear the blame for ever, 10 For except we had lingered, surely now we had returned this second time. 11 And their father Israel said unto them, if it must be so now, do this, take of the best fruits in the land in your vessels, and carry down the man a present, a little balm, and a little honey, spices, and myrrh, nuts, and almonds, twelve, and take double money in your hand, and the money that was brought again in the mouth of your sacks, carry it again in your hand, peradventure it was an oversight, thirteen, take also your brother, and arise, go again unto the man, fourteen, and God Almighty give you mercy before the man, that he may send away your other brother, and Benjamin. If I be bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. 15 And the men took that present, and they took double money in their hand and Benjamin, and rose up, and went down to Egypt, and stood before Joseph. 16 And when Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the ruler of his house, Bring these men home, and slay, and make ready, for these men shall dine with me at noon. 
17 And the man did as Joseph bade, and the man brought the men into Joseph's house. 18 And the men were afraid, because they were brought into Joseph's house, and they said, Because of the money that was returned in our sacks at the first time are we brought in, that he may seek occasion against us, and fall upon us, and take us for bondmen, and our asses. 19 And they came near to the steward of Joseph's house, and they communed with him at the door of the house, 20 And said, O oh, sir, we came indeed down at the first time to buy food, 21 And it came to pass, when we came to the inn, that we opened our sacks, and, behold, every man's money was in the mouth of his sack, our money in full weight, and we have brought it again in our hand. 22 And other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food, we cannot tell who put our money in our sacks. 23 And he said, Peace be to you, fear not, your God, and the God of your father, hath given you treasure in your sacks, I had your money. And he brought Simeon out unto them. 24 And the man brought the men into Joseph's house, and gave them water, and they washed their feet, and he gave their asses prov and er. 25 And they made ready the present against Joseph came at noon, for they heard that they should eat bread there. 26 And when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house, and bowed themselves to him to the earth. 27 And he asked them of their welfare, and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom ye spake? Is he yet alive? 28 And they answered, Thy servant our father is in good health, he is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads, and made obeisance. 29 And he lifted up his eyes, and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother, of whom ye spake unto me? And he said, God be gracious unto thee, my son. 30 And Joseph made haste, for his bowels did yearn upon his brother, and he sought where to weep, and he entered into his chamber, and wept there. 31 And he washed his face, and went out, and refrained himself, and said, set on bread. 32 And they set on for him by himself, and for them by themselves, and for the Egyptians, which did eat with him, by themselves, because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination unto the Egyptians. 33 And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth, and the men marveled one at another. 34 And he took and sent messes unto them from before him, but Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs. And they drank, and were merry with him.